technology junkies, this is Natalie Warren and I'm back here with your May 19th, 2008 tech news. You know how we do it here at Logic TV, we go straight for the facts, reporting nothing but the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help us God. We are so dedicated to delivering the tech news to you, in fact, that we've decided to make the episodes more long-winded and extra retarded just for you, the viewer, because I just don't give a crap anymore. Our first story for you, the Toyota Prius has hit the 1 million mark, as in units sold. This is groundbreaking, people. I mean, I know this isn't GTA 4, but still. 1 million units sold is a lot here, and it makes me feel great that we're helping the environment, especially after all the ice caps have already melted. What we really need are boats, you know, like little boat cars go floating from the 7-Eleven to the Yacht Club, and like the Toyota Prius boat car, set for sale in 2040 when Logic TV's broadcasting from a f***ing submarine, and we'll all have dolphins grafted to our heads spewing sonar. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Well, that's all good for the environment, but what do you think about CBS to purchase CNET and GameSpot? CBS Corp plans to buy CNET for a whopping $1.8 billion, which represents a 45% premium over the closing stock price of $11.50 per share. According to CBS CEO Leslie Moonves, access to CNET's large online audience is the key motivator in the acquisition. The audience would allow CBS to distribute digital content with impunity. This is madness. I don't want the freaking network that brings me cold case and two and a half men to own CNET. Seems wrong somehow. Why does the news always have to be so depressing? If that wasn't depressing enough for you, we just got word that an 11-year-old boy sold his bike and video games to raise money for Hillary Clinton's campaign. <laughs> it's true. He raised $440. 440 motherfucking dollars! I ain't never made $440 when I was 11. I don't even make $440 now. Mommy, I want Grand Theft Auto 4. Bitch, clean your room. Ah. Ever wanted to reach out and touch someone legally? Word is the BlackBerry Thunder is going to have a full keyboard that is touch screen. So the way that works is you touch the keyboard on the screen and little letters come up and then you use this to communicate with people. That's great, BlackBerry. No, really, just go ahead and copy Apple's iPhone just like everybody else. We really enjoy touching a flat screen and having no tactile cues whatsoever. My auntie is blind, blind. How is she supposed to text me? She can't now. This is awful new feature, BlackBerry. Blackberries are beloved and cherished around the world for their full button midget keyboard. This is like Peter Jackson remastering Lord of the Rings and saying, oh, I think we should just remove the hobbits. All of them! Seriously, Blackberry, you dropped the ball here. And speaking of dropping the ball, the Wall Street Journal is reporting that Dell is dropping the XPS line of computers. Is this really a loss? I don't think so. And it doesn't matter anyway because Dell bought Alienware, makers of the True Gamers gaming rig. I don't know, it's like the XPS line almost felt like it was Dell trying to be all hip and edgy. It was like VH1 trying to be MTV all of a sudden and whore itself out, but it just wasn't working. You buy workstations from Dell. Workstations remind me of work. Do I want to mix games with work? Am I a WoW gold farmer? Do I grind 80 hours a week farming fat loot to pwn bitches with epics? And don't even get me started on WoW. All is great in the world, especially in the world of online gaming, which is now a one billion dollars a year industry. Strangely enough, the demographics were women over 35 years old hitting the gaming sites and men under 35 on the MMOs. So don't lose hope guys, those statistics mean that one day your wife will stop telling you to quit playing video games and take out the trash because she'll be online gambling her despair away in the next room. Top MMOs are, of course, WoW, Lord of the Rings Online, and Final Fantasy. And if you do ever need to go AFK on a raid, you'll be glad to know that Take-Two has confirmed that Bioshock will be turned into a full-length feature film. Gore Verbinski, the director of Pirates of the Caribbean, will be responsible for capturing the huge ethical dilemma of saving or harvesting Atom from Little Sisters. The Little Sisters are to be played by child actress Dakota Fanning, and Tom Hanks will star as Big Daddy. 
I just made that up, but that would be amazing! And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling, trying to catch Butterball riding dirty, trying to get Jim riding dirty, trying to get Jim riding dirty. It's Butterball's Trivia Hood! This week, Butterball wants to know when is the release date for Windows 7? That'll do it for this week. We hope you enjoyed this super ultra-charged, insane edition of Logic TV Tech News. By the way, there's another Wii giveaway going on over at our sister site, LogicBuy.com. If you're a registered user on Logic TV, you're already registered on Logic Buy, so be sure to check it out. Tune in next week for more groundbreaking news and also the answer to Butterball's trivia question. This is Natalie Warren. I'm in your YouTubes. Keeping it real.